Right, and earlier on in the bulletin, we highlighted that situation in Folore following that Monday attack that left 11 people dead. And we promised to have an uh, interview with the new ambassador of Ethiopia to Kenya, who's just joined us in studio now, His Excellency Ambassador Meles Alem. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Right. Maybe let's just begin by um, a reaction to what happened on Monday. Terrible, tragic attack that saw 11 Kenyans at the border town uh, of Folore dead. What has the authorities uh, in Ethiopia, how has been the reaction to this? At the outset, let me express my uh, condolences uh, to the griefing families of both uh, Ethiopians and Kenyans who have lost uh, their loved ones. Investigation is underway and uh, we have to wait until the final uh, statement is issued by uh, our countries. So far, there are casualties both uh, Kenya right. and, and Ethiopian side as well. Mm -hmm. These are communities who have lived together for a generation. They are one family. So we have this kind of incidents because of castle wrestling and competition for uh, pasture and, uh, and, and water. Otherwise, this incident will never and ever show the kind of strong and traditional ties between Ethiopia and Kenya that has lasted uh, for generations. Our ties are so symbolic in the region. We have enjoyed uh, uh, strong uh, diplomatic relations for more than uh, 50 years. And the backbone of uh, our ties is the relationship, uh, not only geography, but common people with similar culture, values, and heritage. Mm -hmm. And just staying with that incident that happened on Monday, uh, there, have, there has been a protracted uh, security issue at the borderline between Ethiopia and Kenya for a long time. And earlier on this year, we saw that the two countries agreed to form a peace committee that will look at a, you know, a more long-term solution to the area. What is the status of this? The Peace Committee is still uh, uh, operational. The Ethiopia-Kenya boundary administrators meeting was held in Ethiopia uh, this year. Uh, they have come up with uh, a mechanism so that uh, our communities, our, our long uh, common borders would live uh, in harmony. We can have small, small incidents here and there, but uh, the biggest uh, challenge to, to, to these people is underdevelopment. Mm. So the lasting solution to the root causes of conflicts um, is uh, bringing uh, insecurity uh, on um, their lives to an, to an end. Uh, so the mechanism is, is, is still operational. Mm -hmm. uh, as we speak, uh, the regional uh, administrators and security establishments on our both sides are uh, meeting uh, the elderly and, uh, and um, people f from both communities are trying to solve the problem amicably. So it's not uh, a major security challenge mm -hmm. to both Ethiopia and Kenya when compared with the kind of strong traditional ties both countries enjoy. Right. And speaking of strong traditional ties, as you rightly put it, spanning over 50 years, and we saw this relationship uh, was formed by the founding fathers, Jomo Kenyatta and Haile Selassie. What would you say is that uh, relationship like now? What, uh, what is the thread that is tying us together? The thread that is tying us uh, together is the people we share. We have uh, common peoples for both of us, you have Borana in Ethiopia and Borana in Kenya. You have Gabra in Kenya, Gabra uh, in Ethiopia. You have Burji in Kenya, Burji uh, in Ethiopia, uh, among others. These people have uh, survived, survived for uh, millennia. With or without governments, these people have been uh, together and there uh, will be no incident that will divide our people. So. The biggest bridge between Ethiopia and Kenya are their common people. Mm -hmm. And the leadership at all times have been so uh, enjoying closer ties. Mm -hmm. No matter what sort of government we have, both in our capitals, be it uh, monarchical, uh, military, or republican ties, our relations has been 
excellent mm -hmm. very excellent right and um, just speaking about regional cooperation and contribution both kenya and ethiopia has have their soldiers as part of the army som mission in somalia now in kenya it has been an ongoing conversation uh, some people saying that it's time kenya withdrew their forces what is Ethiopia's voice on the same. Do you share similar conversations about your contribution to Amazon and that peacekeeping mission there? You know, we have similar challenges, mm -hmm. similar challenges of, of security. Terrorism uh, in all its forms and operations remains to be a threat to both uh, our people and our, our countries. Mm -hmm. So it's not a matter of choice to fight uh, international terrorism to the nail. As far as our sec the security of uh, our neighbor sister country in Somalia is concerned, mm -hmm. it's true the final uh, role of pacifying the country uh, falls in the hands of, of Somalis. But as a good neighbor, uh, you know, you can't choose your friend, you can't choose your, 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 your neighbor. Mm -hmm. So as a good neighbor, we should contribute to the pacifications of, of uh, Somalia and help to stand as a viable nation in globe. Mm -hmm. So far, the country has been emerging from uh, crisis. Mm -hmm. There is a very strong government uh, who, who is working with countries in the region. So I think it's incumbent upon uh, its neighbor to contribute mm -hmm. their part, uh, at least their part in the pacification of Somalia. Right. And we have the Lapset uh, project that is a corridor that will run into uh, Ethiopia. What is this? What does this project mean to Ethiopia? What is Ethiopia's interest and what does it stand to benefit from this? You know, the Lapset project uh, is a brainchild of uh, our leaders. Mm -hmm. It meant a lot, uh, not only to, to Kenya, but it meant a lot to, to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. uh, Ethiopia, as a country of 120 million of population, needs um, additional uh, access uh, to sea. If we want to bring lasting peace between uh, our people along our common borders, we have to provide them with development and infrastructural uh, facilities. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the Lapset project will enable our people uh, to have access to the road, mm -hmm. to have access to uh, railway. Mm -hmm. And in fact, Ethiopia as a landlocked country will enjoy the comparative advantage of having more port uh, in Lamu. Mm -hmm. uh, the construction of the Lap Lapset project is, is underway. Mm -hmm. In fact, the latest information that we have from the Lapset authorities mm -hmm. The three bars uh, construction is closing completions. Uh, their construction is ranging from 62% to 99%, which is a big uh, achievement. Mm -hmm. So the Lapset project has shown that it's not a pipe dream, but mm -hmm. something achievable and deliverable. Right. And uh, maybe very briefly as we wind up, because I understand Kenya really enjoys the highest level of bilateral relationship uh, with, you, with uh, Ethiopia, uh, with the binational commission in place. What are the benefits of this? What does this mean diplomatically? Look, do you know that you can go to Addis Ababa without a visa? Yeah. How many Kenyans know that? To go from uh, Kenya, Nairobi to Addis Ababa is like going from Nairobi to Kisumu or Naivasha or Nakuru. You see, this shows the depth of the relations that we have. These two countries are um, not competitors. We are partners. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we compete is marathon. You can have Kipchoge. In 3000, you have Helena Buri or uh, the diminutive. Uh, and you literally uh, give us a run for our bodies. Exactly. In <laughs> fact, in, fact in, in, in the absence of Ethiopian yeah. uh, and Kenyan um, athletes, you can think of long distance um, That's true. athletics competitions. Mm -hmm. So we are partners. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have been destined to, to live together. And there is, there is no other options apart from using our potentials and capabilities to change the lives of our people. And politics, very excellent. Right. It has to be complemented by economic uh, ventures so that we bring Ugali to your table and Injera to my table. Right. Thank you very much, sir. My pleasure. Thank you for your time to joining us in studio. That's His Excellency Ambassador Meles Alem, who is Ethiopia's ambassador to Kenya.